Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will learn how to multiply by sevens. What is the product of one times seven? We need one row with seven flowers on the row. We will label that one and seven. One times seven. Now we're going to cut the array. We're gonna do that by drawing a line through it. Now we have two smaller arrays on each side. On the first array, we have one row with four flowers, which means one times four. One times four equals four. Over here on the next little array, we have one row with three flowers on it, which we know equals three. Now we can put both of those arrays together by adding four plus three, which gives us seven. So we know that one row of seven equals seven. What is the product of two times seven? We need two rows with seven flowers on each row. Now we're going to cut the array into two smaller arrays. On our first array, we have two rows with four flowers on each row. So we will label that two times four. We know two times four is eight. Over here on this side, we have two rows of three flowers on each row, which is two times three. Two times three equals six. Let's put the eight and the six together, which gives us 14. So two times seven equals 14. Three times seven means three rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and break the array. Now we have two smaller arrays. This one has three rows with five flowers on each row. We know three times five equals 15. Here we have three rows with two flowers in each row, which makes three times two. We know that equals six. 15 and six make 21. So three times seven equals 21. Four times seven means four rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and chop the array. Now we have two smaller arrays on each side. On this array, we have four rows with three flowers on each row. We know four times three equals 12. On this array, we have one, two, three, four rows with four flowers in each row, which makes four times four, and that equals 16. We can put both of those together, four times three and four times four, which equals 12 and 16, and that gives us 28. Four times seven equals 28. Five times seven means we need five rows with seven flowers on each row. We're going to chop our array. Now we have two smaller arrays. Our first array has one, two, three, four, five rows with five flowers on each row. Five times five equals 25. On the other array, we have five rows with two flowers on each side. Five times two equals 10. Let's go ahead and put 25 and 10 together. We know that equals 35, so five times seven equals 35. Six times seven means six rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and cut the array into two smaller arrays. Our first array has one, two, three, four, five, six rows with five flowers on each row, which is 30. This array has six rows with two flowers on each row, which is 12. Now we can put six times five plus six times two. We know six times five is 30 and six times two is 12. 30 plus 12 is 42, so six times seven is 42. Seven times seven means we have seven rows with seven flowers on each row. We're going to go ahead and break or chop or cut this array. Now we're going to have two smaller arrays. On this side, we have seven rows with four flowers on each row, which is 28. Over here, we have seven rows with three flowers on each row, which gives us 21. We're gonna go ahead and do seven times four plus seven times three, which we know is 28 plus 21, which gives us 49. So we know seven times seven equals 49. Eight times seven means eight rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and cut this array. Now we have two arrays. Our first array shows eight rows of four, which is 32. This array shows eight rows of three, which we know is 24. Let's put those together and we get 56. Eight times seven equals 56. Nine times seven means nine rows of seven. Let's go ahead and cut our array. On this side, we have nine rows of four, which equals 36. On this array, we have nine rows of three, 
nine rows with three flowers on each one. Nine times three equals 27. We're gonna put both arrays together by adding 36 plus 27. We know when we put that together, we get 63. Nine times seven is 63. 10 times seven, 10 rows of seven. Let's chop across this time instead of up and down. So we still have two smaller arrays, one on the top and one on the bottom. On the top, we have five rows of seven. We know five times seven equals 35. The bottom array is also five rows of seven, which also equals 35. Let's put 35 and 35 together, which gives us 70. 11 times seven, we need 11 rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and cut our array so we have two smaller arrays. On the top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of seven, which is 42. On our other array, we have one, two, three, four, five rows with seven flowers on each row. We know that five times seven equals 35. Let's put 42 and 35 together, which gives us 77. 12 times seven means 12 rows with seven flowers on each row. Let's go ahead and cut our array into two smaller arrays. On the top, we have six rows with seven flowers on each row, which is 42. On our bottom array, we have six rows with seven flowers on each row again, which gives us 42. 42 plus 42 equals 84. 12 times seven equals 84. <laughs>